What's up everyone, it's Diagon here. Welcome back to another video on my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to increase performance inside of Valorant. So the first thing you want to do is you want to uh, open up your run box and type in percent local app data percent. Once you open that up, you want to go to shooter game, saved, config, windows client, game user settings.ini. Double click on that. Go down below until you see scalability groups. You want to set your view distance quality to zero, your anti aliasing quality to zero, your shadow quality to zero, everything to zero. If you've set this to low already, it would be at three. You want to set this to zero. And then the SG resolution quality, you want to set this to 40%. Now, what this will do is this will make your game look very pixelated, as you can see right here. It looks super pixelated. The character models look pixelated but trust me it's not that bad because you can still see and you can still see your opponent and so yeah you don't have to worry about that but it just looks kind of pixelated but trust me it helps with your fps and then click on file and then save once that's done go back go to this right here it's going to be a string of numbers double click on that windows client game user setting.ini and in here, you want to do the exact same thing. 0, 0, 0, 0, 40%. Okay. You can close out of this. All right, guys. The next step is for NVIDIA users. So we're going to be setting up the best settings for Valorant inside of the NVIDIA control panel settings. So right click, go to NVIDIA control panel, go to program settings. And then select a program to customize. You can click on add and it should pop up with this right here and select valorant but i already selected it so all i need to do is right uh click on this right here and i need to select valorant right here c dot right games valorant live click on that all right so once you're doing that you should be in here now these are the settings you want to change so anisotropic filtering turn that off anti losing fxaa off anti losing ammo correction off anti losing mode off um cuda gpus all low latency mode this is the same as uh, maximum pre-rendered frames uh you want to set this to ultra this will reduce your input lag max frame rate turn that to off multi-frame sampled aa off your open gel rendering gpu you want to put that to geforce gtx 950 uh, uh optimize for compute performance turn that off Power management mode, prefer maximum performance, shader cache. This right here is experimental. Um, if you have a SSD or a fast drive, like an NVMe, turn this on. If you have a hard drive, turn this off. But test which one gives you better performance. Texture filtering, anisotropic sample option, make sure that's on. Texture filtering, negative LOD bias allow. Texture filtering, quality high performance. Texture filtering, trade linear optimization on. Threaded optimization, auto. Triple buffering off, V-Sync off, virtual pre-render frames one. These are the best settings for Valorant that will give you the best performance. All right, so the next step is gonna be disabling full screen optimizations for Valorant. And this will also help uh, reduce input lag. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to your file explorer, go to local disk C, write games, Valorant, live. And in here you wanna type in in this right here you want to type in dot exe press enter and as you can see it will bring up these two right here valorant dot exe and valorant uh with 64 dot shipping exe both of these right here are the games so uh, right click on both of these click on properties compatibility disable full screen optimizations do the same for this one disable full screen optimizations once that is done you can close out of that and now you can boot up into Valorant and you should be getting better performance. Another thing you can do is go into settings in Valorant and then go into video tab, go to general, resolution, make this 1280 by 720 if you want the best performance. I have a 1080p monitor, so downscaling it to 720p helps with performance. In display mode, keep this on full screen. This is the best for input lag. This helps uh, with input lag, so put it on full screen. Limit FPS on battery, turn that on. 
let me fps in menus turn that on let me fps in background turn that on let me fps always turn that off the reason why you want to have these three settings on is because uh you don't really need fps in the menus and backgrounds so if you have this uh if you have this off uh, your gp will just heat up but let me fps always this affects the game so you want to have this off go to graphics quality material quality low texture quality low detail quality low ui quality low vignette off vsync off and he was none and it's traffic flow tree 1x improve clarity on bloom on and then distortion off first person shadows off these are the best settings for low-end computers and for the best fps in general and an audio you don't have to do anything here now just close out of that and you now have the best settings for valorant but yeah guys that is it for my tutorial on how to get the best performance inside of valorant if this video did help you out make sure to leave a like comment down below and subscribe also turn on post notifications so you don't miss a video but with that said i'll see you guys next time goodbye